create our own real time online shopping application in app lab of code.org so i will first show you the demo of this app and then we will be building it so are you all excited to see the demo of the app let me know in the live chat I'm just waiting. yeah so let's start building that app so this is of course real time what do we mean by real time real time here means that it is going to work the buyers will actually be able to buy the products from us and we can deliver it if you are really a businessman but if you are just making it right now just for so that in future if you can take benefit of it or you will sell this app or something like that then of course this is going to be very beneficial because if you should know how should how you can build such applications also if you want to become an app developer in future so without wasting no more time let's get started so the first thing which we need to keep in mind is that the demo so that we know what we are building so just a second i'm giving you the demo in a few seconds so can you all see the demo so this is the demo so if i reload this application so we all can see that first the splash screen comes and it is showing here what would you like to shop then let's click here to shop then here we have several products we can choose any one of those and we can buy them we can just simply add to cart and we can see that the actual amount is actually reflecting isn't that please make a view bot yes all right we will try to make this application such kind of app also so here we can even add products as i have shown to you you just click on add to cart and the actual product will actually mean the actual price will reflect here then let's click here go to cart if we are done adding the products you can even add more products how can you add more products simply add here one button that is to show the next screen and then you can add it i hope you all can do that also so then go to cart and then here we have cart so let me know if i am audible if you all are able to clear I mean if you all are able to hear me properly because this time i have a different system of saying so i am just confused if you are all able to hear me properly you can let me know in the live chat so let's proceed so here we have cart and the total amount which need which need to be paid by us so let's just review it yes it's fine and click on place order so of course we need to provide some details so that we can get the order at our door step so we need to of course provide these details so your full name we need to enter the full name suppose let's enter full name as here we have many names let's choose edula itself all right then what we can choose hi everyone then let's enter the full address so suppose if we are residing in bangalore so what we will write 
just enter the full address suppose anything like if you are writing any road name road name like i don't know so road name and the house yes house number also even so house number suppose building block is g so g 603 building name is suppose santi yes, i mean is just imaginary name for now because i mean what can i show then so and here we can write sector if it's applicable 12 bangalore karnataka even if you know the pin code then you can enter here that would be good so we have now here we have to enter a phone number so that the so that the owner of the application can order i mean can contact in case he is facing some delivery issues like if he is stuck anywhere and want to contact the buyer of the product so phone number we need to enter then email address also so for now i am entering my email address and even you all can also contact me in this email address if you have any queries or if you want to contact me so then click on proceed so it's showing that your order has been successfully placed and you will receive order details in your registered phone number and email address now you might be wondering that these details are they like where are they right now they are in the database so next so it's showing everything so let's click on continue shopping and we can continue shopping so wasn't that fun so let's start creating it so let's come to coder tawaji screen and start building this app so i hope you are able to hear me properly and now let's go to code.org so you need to go to the website which is code.org so go there simply you need to of course for sign in and i am hoping that you all have done so prior to the session because that's good Yes, so here we are. So we need to create a new Appla project. And because like in the 
like i have made this app half i mean i have made this app half in the previous session also but due to some issues that live session is no more available in youtube because of some issues so i can't like code again that application like i can't do the designing if you have attended the previous session then it's code so what i'm going to do is so that you can be benefited also so that you all like those who haven't attended the previous session for them also i have one idea that we would be importing the screens and the link would be given in their discord server so we can just simply just zoom in this app so yeah so let's go to design section and import the screens click on import and paste the link which is given to you in discord and import everything just need to zoom out and zoom in yeah and just give me 2 minutes so in the discord the link is available this import link is available in discord so everyone should go to discord and join the server if not done yet and you should take the link and paste it here as your import link because this will actually help us really save a lot of time so let's get started so all the stuff has been done if you have any queries or doubts regarding this you can just let me know in the live chat i hope you have no queries so like this is how we have built these all things and this is actually very easy you can build this all on your own so let's go to code and let's start so the first of all what we need to do is we need to add the let's zoom in yes we need to add the functionality for splash screen so you need to go to the control section and set timeout and that after 1 second it is going to set screen 2 and this is how the splash screen will work done yes so now when button number 1 is clicked then it's going to set screen which is shop let's go to the screen shop and here we need to add all those functionalities which were which are required for our application like how it is going to do all that stuff how is it going to actually what do we say it's going to reflect the actual amount and all those stuff that's actually required isn't it so next what we are doing is we are creating one variable which is value so you need to create a new variable that is value and that variable will serve the purpose of storing the price value is equal to zero for now and now here we have something known as total label so this is going to actually now here one has asked that can we search for stuff i don't think so because the things are less um see i don't think that search functionality can be added in app lab but if you want then i will try of it i will try doing it 
and if i am able to do so then i will share it with you all that's only what i can say for now because i haven't done it yet i mean i haven't tried out adding search functionality here so i will try and let you know next we have created one variable which was value and can we buy yes of course as i have told this is this is real time so you can again watch the demo which is in the starting and there i have shown you the complete demonstration of this application so you can check like how can the user buy actually so let's come here and we are we were yes total so we want that the total amount should be reflected after the user add a particular product and it should actually reflect over here so how can we do that it's simple we have already defined a vari sorry a var variable and the value of it currently is zero and as soon as the user will buy any product then of course it will increase and variables keep on increasing so now we need, what we need to do is we are going to do that on event on event when button number 4 is clicked then what's going to happen then it's going to like the value of the variable is going to change shout out my name hi shreyas so here we were that on even when button 4 is clicked then what should happen then the value of the variable value should increase so how will we do just drag this component and here the value variable is going to change is going to implement by 70 rupees because the price of this product is 70 rupees like done then what we will do is then the text yes so then the text is going to change also so set text so even before this also because it should actually happen so set text of this total label this total so it's going to set text by variable so right here total plus this variable value and also it should show rupees so even we can add one more thing and we can have some space done so now even here also button for now there is going to be an error let me tell you what error it is going to be click here to shop and when i click at add to cart it is not implementing like this price is not implementing even if i'm clicking here add to cart why is it so it is because we have like the code is working well 
there is no error in the code but the error is there there is no error actually here we haven't added one line Can you all hear me? If yes, then it's cool. Yes, so here we were. <laughs> so because this error is coming, because it's not coming, so we need to add one line. It is going to be. It is. It should actually just because here it should again set the text, right? Because it has just all is done, but it is not doing. So we need to add this statement that set the text of this label to the one which is changed. So we need to do that. I hope that's understood to each one of you. So now, if we run and check, then now it's working, right? So it was so easy. Now let's do it for all products. just copy this paste it how many times let's check six times so two times is already done so let's duplicate it four more times so now let's do for button number it's not uh, button number 5 and the value should be implemented by rupees 100 because it's of 100 rupees now button number 6 just change it button number 7 And yes, button number six to change by fifty rupees. Button number seven should change by ten rupees. Next, button number eight and nine. It should change by thirty and twenty rupees respectively. So this is done. Where is the link given in Discord? The link is given in Discord in the channel which is named by Apple Project Links. So there the project link is given, and I have given it. So you can just check it. the screen see the link is given in discord i have told you right and i have given so if you have joined the discord server then you may check Yes. So now let's do further. Let's proceed further. So now what we need to do is we need to do that when button number ten is clicked. When button number ten is clicked, then it should set screen. when button number 10 is clicked then it should set screen which is cart all right and in cart
to set the text it should set the text of this label let me show you in cart it should set the text of this label which is label 10 by set text of label number 10 by that is going to be same so here we can just simply copy it or simply just duplicate this label and paste it here and remove this label and just change it by label 10 let's check if it's working yes it's working now let's add the functionality of placing the order so how will we do it how are we going to do it so on event when button number 12 is clicked on event when button number 12 is clicked then it should Then what's going to happen when button number 12 is clicked then it should set screen which is details for order. Set screen. Details for order. And then when we come to the screen details for order. Then on event when this proceed button that is, is button number 14 is clicked. Then what should happen then it is going to create a record it should create a record which is named as orders and it should store the following information name and name should be stored get text from the label which is text input one now go to show text and copy it Copy it and paste it one more time and change it to next is address. Address which is text input to again put a comma and paste it. And now you need to change to phone number. which is text input 3 you can paste it two more times and here email text input 4 and then amount order amount order amount it should get the text from label 10 all right it should get the text from label 10 done and after it is all done, after it is successfully created, there is 
record has been successfully created then it should set screen which is success message and on event when button number 13 is clicked when button number 13 is clicked then it should set screen which is screen number 2 and screen number 2 is this so with this we have successfully built our application that is online shopping app and let's check it if it's working all fine so let's click on run splash screen is working fine this is working fine these all buttons are working fine go to cart this is reflecting good place order so let's just we have it given these details so let's just fill it proceed order has been successfully placed you will receive order details in your registered phone number and email address that's good continue shopping and successfully placed now the main question comes that how will the order get delivered to that person who has placed it so it's simple the owner will regularly check these data pools and will check this orders and will just see okay so these all information now the owner will contact this person via his phone number or email address and then get delivered by these informations which is provided so this is how this app is fully real time and we have built this application successfully